There's understandably a lot of confusion around how avoidant attachment can occur, especially if you've dated someone who acted like their family was perfect and that they also appear pretty secure, stable, have a good thing going on with their lives. And yet this avoidant attachment still exists. So what the heck's going on? Well, avoidant attachers often don't have great backgrounds and they're very good at denial and also magical thinking. So often they try and look at their past with a glossy nostalgia lens without seeing it for what it really is, the breeding ground for a lot of trauma and toxicity. For many avoidant attachers, they've either come from one of two major origin stories. One is neglect, where they didn't really get validated for their emotions. If something big happened, like a divorce, they stuffed that emotion down and didn't want to deal with it. Or they weren't validated and their parents may have said things like, I'll give you something to cry about if you cry again. So they learned not to express their feelings. However, the other form is where there was extreme enmeshment in the family, meaning the caregivers were just like so keen on making their children mini versions of them, turning their children into their own therapists, emotionally dumping on them, saying things like, you're just as bad as your father, or saying like, you're my special boy, or your daddy's favorite, or mummy's favorite, or even doing something as extreme as sleeping next to their children, sharing with their children, and making their child lose any sense of individuality, which causes them to hold on to a lot of anger and resentment that they project onto future partners.